Ever sick? So anyway, we're off. Go on Burnstick Show. Uh, I guess there's gonna be some Indians there. Uh, we're shooting my third DVD. Three. Three DVDs and 11 years. Not bad. My first one was actually a video. That was the old days. I know some of you still have years. So. Anyway, sound check. Say hi to some people. Do my thing. These were once uh, mine. I pawned them off, and uh, now they're here. And anyway, we're at the Marlboro Hotel, so we're going to see a lot of uh, natives. Some will be sober, some will be drunk, some might not be, some might be. You never know. Doesn't matter. As long as uh, I am not drunk. I'm on Viagra though, so it's going to be a hard show. Did Viagra about a uh, half hour ago, so uh, something happens. You know, you'll never know. Eh? Might get busy here. more often man. <laughs> so we gotta get out of here by 11 because some of you your curfew is up <laughs> cops are waiting outside <laughs> You're getting all nervous already <laughs> so anyway these are uh, red skin spice girls right here this is sweetie spice baby spice they're models for fashion show Yes, modeling, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. look, look at the glitter. No, Ojibwe say, holy, she's got nips. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight's gonna be a different show. I'm gonna put all the stops. So I've always kind of lived like this eh, in my shows. I don't swear, don't talk dirty, all that kind of stuff. Well, I'm not gonna swear tonight, but I'm gonna get dirty. So anyway, this is an adult show. So I might say some things that might get people a little bit sensitive. People get offended, I don't give a shit. You're drinking, so somebody's gonna get laid tonight, yes? <laughs> Who's getting laid tonight? <laughs> uh, Indians, if I pass out. <laughs> I'm gonna get laid tonight. Even if it's myself. I can't talk about Indians. I went to boarding school. That's not funny. <laughs> Look at these late Indians here. Sit down. <laughs> not you, big guy. The other one. <laughs> Holy shit, you're big. That's your woman? Ah, <laughs> That's how he held me when I was his inmate roommate. <laughs> we did a deuce in Stony Mountain, remember? <laughs> oh, man. Good to be here. Oh, I've been busy, man. 2008, you guys. Hey, come on, you guys. You got this guy here, his pawn shop camera. Check him out, eh, you guys? It's going to be on APTN. We'll just wait. <laughs> so anyway, I decided to shoot 
this thing because APTN, they keep airing the same frickin' show. <laughs> Six years ago, I shot that thing. I had the mullet and everything. <laughs> so now you got my new stuff. I got a pot belly. I traded the mullet for the pot belly. Yes. I think I've been living around o Ojibwe's too much. I got the Ojibwe body. But I'm Cree. Look, I'm Cree. See some white ladies in the house? <laughs> I feel like cremating tonight. Oh, yes. You might find me in Ojibwe, go all the way. You never know. Might find a matey, do it halfway, I don't know. <laughs> See ya. Sit down! I'm gonna go get a beer. Huh? Anybody else? There is late Indians. Holy sh You must work at the band office, eh? <laughs> no band office staff. They walk in, eh? I'll go to work if I want. <laughs> they can't fire me. My cousin's on council. <laughs> hey, check this out. Ain't that cool? Hey, 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 hey. I said, is that cool or what? Ah, I'm gonna put a B-I-G instead of take that U-R-N. <laughs> it's a moment of going, yes, he should. <laughs> oh, so I'm snag mode this year. I'm gonna snag as much as I can. Don't matter, I'm not as fussy as I used to be. Oh, yes. See, when I was younger, I was fussy. Oh, certain ways, certain, certain. <laughs> now I'm my 40s, shit, man, I'll do anybody. <laughs> There's a guy going, mm, I got a chance. <laughs> You know, I've dated, I've dated all kinds, eh, you know. I've dated tall ones, oh, you know, tall ones, eh, oh, you dance with them, huh? <laughs> you got nice calves. <laughs> Those skinny anorexic ones. <laughs> Your hip bones are cutting me. <laughs> Go eat some bologna, you know. <laughs> I dated short ones. Oh, you're short ones. You waltz with them, hey? You grab their head. I've even gone big. <laughs> oh, yes. You know those big ones? Ooh. Indians, we call them the juicy ones. We've all gone big. You know those big I'm talking those big ones. You're laying beside them like this, eh? Even the woman, honey, he's talking about you. No. I'm too big, man. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, those ones. I've gone big. You take off their bra, it looks like that. <laughs> but I can't stay big, because... But I will go there. I've gone there. I even gone multicultural. Oh yes, I dated an Asian woman. Oh yeah, I went Asian. I went yellow. <laughs> she reminded me of, a, of, of an Ojibwe woman playing bingo. <laughs> what number was that? We broke up. I dated an East Indian. Oh yeah, an East Indian woman from the Middle East. It was distracting the way because I wanted to push that dot there. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't... 
Just let me touch it. <laughs> I want to see what would happen. Huh? You know? <laughs> and I dated a black woman. Oh yes, I went black. I came back. <laughs> and I went back again just to make sure. <laughs> Ole. I was like, shake your junk. <laughs> You don't need me. <laughs> like, <laughs> and distracted me, eh? Cause uh, like, look at me. I'm a healthy guy. Look at me. Like, I got some big lips. Look. <laughs> but her lips were like, holy. <laughs> and me being Indian, I went, who hit you? <laughs> I'll fight him right now. Who hit you? <laughs> That's right. And I found it too distracting, eh? Because, uh, you know, I always thought she was pointing somewhere, huh? <laughs> what are you pointing at? <laughs> so we broke up. And I don't like those big round bums, eh? <laughs> I like them nice and flat. Because <laughs> you can get in there deep. All the flat bum women going, uh huh. <laughs> and I started, I started banging white women. Holy! I mean, dating. I started dating white women. That's a lot of work, eh? <laughs> but we see that, eh? We see white men, native women. Hey, we're mixing, eh? We see a white woman, native man, once in a while. Oh, yeah. You see a white woman with a native man, that's a native man with a job. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> There's no goddamn way she's going to shock up with somebody who just sleeps all day. Eats and bangs you when you get home. <laughs> Only native women do that. <laughs> again, go, honey, he's talking about you again. <laughs> I remember my first white woman. Holy, freaked me out, man. You know, uh, we went for dinner. I had to buy. KFC. <laughs> She was looking at me when I was licking her fingers, eh? <laughs> oh my God, what are you doing? <laughs> foreplay, baby, foreplay. <laughs> so I knew we were gonna like, like do it, eh? <laughs> so we went to uh, her house, sat in her bedroom. She, you know, make, make yourself comfortable. <laughs> She went in the bathroom. I don't know what the hell she was doing, but she took a long time. <laughs> I'm gonna handle this myself. You don't come out here anyway. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm native. My first white woman. It freaked me out. She come walking in the bathroom. She turned on the lamp, and all of a sudden she started doing this. And taking off her clothes in front of me. I'm like, holy. Not even shy. And she's undressing, going, I'm going to make love to you. <laughs> See, I'm used to native women. They're going to get undressed. Boy, you're going to get it. Take off this bra, you're gonna get it. <laughs> Turn the lights off, you're gonna get it. <laughs> and 
Now he's saying, honey, he's talking about you. <laughs> so we're making out. No, no, it's just, oh man, I was working the engine hard, eh? I started dialing in. First base, second, and I was rounding third, going for home. And I went down there and I touched her. First time I touched a white woman's. And it freaked me right out. I was like, yeah! What, 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 what the hell? What? You got no hair. <laughs> yeah. Are you sick or something? No, I shaved it. Well, they got shampoo for that stuff now. No, cosmetically, I shaved it to look good. Really? Let me see. So I, I look. Holy! Look like a chicken's ass. <laughs> and anybody who knows me knows I like chicken. <laughs> go, you know, go black, but I always, always come back to my beautiful, beautiful native woman. Am I right, sisters? Am I right? Okay. <laughs> I love you. I love your hand-me-down bras. Oh, I love me, native woman, man. I love me. Well, because, man, when they do it, oh, they do it. And they let you know they've done it. <laughs> when you're young, it's we made out. <laughs> when you're older, I just got laid. She did it. Big old greasy Indian neck. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh man. I love a native woman, but native women are they're a little bit jealous, eh? Who's more jealous? Indian men or Indian woman? Yeah. Men or women? <laughs> well, native men, you know, yes, I know. Native woman. Yes, you're very, very jealous. <laughs> They're all going. And I'll tell you something, my sisters. I'll tell you something. I'm being honest with you. Let me speak the truth here. We're healing. You have every right to be jealous. <laughs> As Indian guys, man, we're dogs, eh? <laughs> you bring us to a family reunion, Indian men are gonna be banging your cousin. <laughs> Guy sitting there, Don. And I've 
dated, like I said, I've been in a few relationships here and there, but I've never. Only native women do this. <laughs> and native people, they do this to each other. Eh? They give you the inspection. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you come back from a night out with the boys. Where were you? <laughs> Get in that bathroom. I want to look at your shorts. <laughs> Start looking for cheese. What's this? What's this? You guys are going, how the hell does he know? <laughs> oh, man. So that's my take on relationships, eh? You know, because it's different relationships, eh? You know? Because when, when, when you date a white woman, eh? It's different, eh? You know? Because white women, when, when they fight, it's an argument, eh? They argue. And they, they all start crying, eh? I can't believe you said that. You're so mean. And they'll phone somebody, oh, we had a terrible fight. He said terrible things. And that's a fight. Now you fight with a native woman. It's a fight! <laughs> what you say to me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> Come on, say it again. Come on. I'm gonna get my brothers. When you break up with a white woman, because I've done that a couple times. Don't stand there, cry. Fine. You want to go, go. Can we still be friends? Why do you want to be friends? As Indians, man, we hate our exes, eh? There's that bastard, I hate him. <laughs> you break up with a white woman, eh? Fine. You wanna go, go, there's the door, just go. I'll send you your stuff. And they do. They send you your stuff. <laughs> you try to break up with a native woman? Ah, holy. They'll stand in front of the doorway. You're not going anywhere. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Take your keys. <laughs> slash your tires. Throw the baby at you. <laughs> Smell your shorts. <laughs> you guys having a good time, huh? Yeah. I love my people, man. I've got lots of white people in the house, you guys. Come on, you guys. White folks, come on, you guys. White guy, front row, center. <laughs> With the real shiny head. <laughs> you went Indian, didn't you, eh? eh? That's my ex, you know. <laughs> Sit down! I'm gonna take you to an AA meeting after. Just walking around like you're at Teddy Bob's. 
I was talking to the white man here. Hey, white guy. So that's your wife? How can you keep looking at her? <laughs> She's Indian. She hit him. Don't. <laughs> this is the native side. Look, look, look. Cameraman, look. Native hotties. Look, look. look. We call them the red skin Spice Girls. Spam spice, bologna spice. <laughs> the oldest one is Old Spice. <laughs> Looks like your wife is Old Spice. <laughs> Good call, buddy. You got some hot woman here, but you got the hottest. Now, give me a hand, you guys. White Carter. So, lights on or lights off? He goes, I don't know, I don't get it no more. <laughs> so here we are, the Derrick Theater. And this looks like a, it's a welfare day at the band office. What's going on here? <laughs> how you doing, boy? Well, how you doing? Hey, we go to the same gym. <laughs> 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 So anyway, wow, a lot of people here. Hi! So anyway, uh, this reminds me of me waking up in the morning. <laughs> but mine's bigger. I mean my microphone. I don't know how bigger I'm talking about. I have a big microphone. It's big. <laughs> my microphone is going limp. Look, it's going down, down, down. Down, hard, hard. Hard. Hey, look, Ojibwe, Ojibwe, Ojibwe. Cree, Cree, Cree. <laughs> white guy, white guy, white guy. Metis, Metis, Metis. So, my brothers, how are my brothers doing? Indian guys? Hey, brothers. You Indians in here or are you gangsters? What, which one are you? <laughs> man, be Indian, man. What the hell is all this shit? I'm an OG out in the hood, what's up? <laughs> You're from Pigus. <laughs> Pull your goddamn pants up and smarten up. <laughs> you should be proud to be Indian, am I right? Hey? Right, man. Be proud of that shit, man. I'm proud to be Indian. I could have been something else. <laughs> could have been white like this guy. <laughs> He's not even white. They're not even white, they eh? white guys. They're pink. <laughs> Sounds funny though. Hey, pink man, come here. <laughs> but Indian guys, boy, two things we got. We got pot bellies, flat bumps, and a big one. <laughs> Some guys, not even. <laughs> so I travel lots, I watch a lot of TV. I was, in my, I was in my hotel room, eh? I was eating chicken KFC. And I, I, I was uh, watching uh, TV and I got the remote control and it slipped out of my hands. It was all greasy. Hit the corner of the bed and, and on the floor and it smashed. Pshhh. And now like an Indian, I went, oh, they're going to charge me. <laughs> I better start stealing these towels. <laughs> <laughs> so I went down to fix this, this remote, five different pieces. I'm going, oh my God. And, and, and I guess when it hit the corner of the bed, it hit the pay-per-view button.
It was an accident. And I looked on there and there was this adult movie. A pornographic, white people call it. Indians call it a piggy movie. And I'm trying to fix it and change the channel and it wouldn't change, it was broken. I'm like, they're gonna charge me. You know? And on there, there was this, uh, this, this big black guy, big. This black guy was big, big black guy. This guy was big. <laughs> You'd swear he was Cree. <laughs> no, he was big, man. Big round ass, big hammer, and he was. And there was this little skinny white woman there. And he was gonna give it to her. And this white was like, And her face pulled back like a fish. <laughs> big lips, nose, jaw, big. Mm. Look like Tupperware on legs. <laughs> and he bent her over, this black guy, and he just started giving it to her. Yeah. I mean. And he changed directions like a Cree guy. And I'm, I'm like, Ugh. and I didn't want, I didn't, and I'm trying to fix the remote. I called the front desk. <laughs> Send security. The black guy, white woman. <laughs> Hurry, he's killing her. And he was just giving it to her. That poor woman. I cried for her. And I didn't want to watch. I lit my sweet grass. And I heard this. I said, he's hitting her. And I looked. And he was spanking her. <laughs> Who's your daddy? And she liked it. Security came in, kicked open the door. I was crying, we hugged. They, they unplugged the TV. I was traumatized. <laughs> and, I, and I came down to a Manitowabi over here. <laughs> and I was in snag mode. <laughs> and uh, I was in my big phase. <laughs> I mean, a big one was going to get it. <laughs> I was hungry. So I snagged a real big one. Oh, big, oh, big. I'm not gonna say where she's from. <coughs> Sioux Valley. <laughs> and like a Cree guy, we started making out. Like a Cree guy, I took off one pant leg. <laughs> Lift the underwear on, just move it to the side. That's cremating. <laughs> and, and, and I know this woman, I know she's been done before. Somebody else has been there, I can tell. And for me, when I'm going to be with a woman, I want to be good. I want her to say, boy, I want you to do it again to me. So you want to be good. So I'm going, oh, man, I just want to, oh, man, oh you're going to get it, man. But she's been given to before, I can tell. How do I do that? Oh yeah, and I remember that movie. A movie at the hotel there. <laughs> that, that black guy. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna do that to her. So I'm trying to turn her over. 
She's laying there. What are you doing? I want to show you something. What are you doing? So I grabbed her cigarettes and I threw them over there. When she reached for them like that, I went, aha! She was like, oh, you're sneaky. Oh, go ahead then. And you should have seen me, sisters. You would have been proud of me. I got back there, boy, ho. Oh. I was doing everything. I was doing the Elvis. Tom Jones. Yeah. Ah, and I remember that black guy, that movie, huh? So I hit her. I got so into it, I started hitting myself, eh? Master, who's your daddy? She was like this. I don't know. <laughs> Quit asking. I don't know. Hi. Hey, hey, Sargins. Hello, oh, oh, cousin. Oh, you smoke. How you doing? Like? Oh, no, hi. Hey guys, how you guys doing? Hi, how are you? Sir, how are you? Good to see you. Smile! You look like you're looking for a fight. Come on. <laughs> That's my boy? <laughs> they found me. <laughs> look, look, look at the bling, look at the bling. <laughs> That's not rhinestones. That's all his nits. <laughs> Jake Nitz. Hi, Don. <laughs> Shake a lake, Don. We're from Winnipeg. I'm from Bears River. The Paw Manitoba. Broken Head Reserve. Hi, from Duck Bay. We're from Winnipeg. I see a lot of young people here. Let's give our young people a hand, you guys. Show them some love. Show them some love. I love our young people. I just think you're weird. <laughs> Glad I'm not young no more. <laughs> I just act young. They do weird shit, they, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Baggy pants. You know, they're doing crack. <laughs> Even getting tattoos, hey, all those kind of tattoos. What do they call it today? Body art. <laughs> all over, tattoos everywhere, you know. See, when I was younger, if you had a tattoo, you were an inmate. You were a biker. You were a sailor. Or you had the res tattoo. Love. <laughs> Some of you guys are sitting there going. <laughs> Remember res tattoos? <laughs> Initials, love. You stole some indie ink from school, you're drunk, hey, I'm gonna put your first girlfriend on. How do you spell Annabelle again? <laughs> Next day you're trying to burn it off with a cigarette. <laughs> I didn't know she was my cousin. <laughs> the tattoo I don't get. And they talk about it in those movies, eh? That tattoo right here, look back here, right, right above the crack of their ass, right? Right, right. What the hell? Why put a tattoo where you can't see it? You need a mirror. Oh, that looks good. And white girls do that, eh? They put tattoos right there. And when you look at it, eh? When you, when you, when you notice the white girl's tattoo, they look at you. What are you looking at? Savage. 
I'm like, you ever been ravaged by a savage? Huh? Huh? I'm serious, I'm walking through Las Vegas airport, I'm walking to carry my garbage bag, and I seen a white woman sitting there. About 25, 26, she had those low-cut Britney Spears pants. High t-shirt on, and her back was exposed, and a tattoo right there. Just above the crack of her ass. And I'm trying to not look, and I'm going... And it was of a butterfly. And the butterfly was looking at me. So I'm playing with the butterfly. <laughs> As I played the butterfly, I seen two pieces of string sticking up each side. So I pushed them down. They're like, what are you doing? I said, your pants are broke. You got thread sticking up. She said, that's not thread, that's my underwear. I'm like, really? Underwear? Really? She goes, yes. They call it a, a, a thong. For Crees, a tong. I said, really? She goes, yes. Looks, goes in her bag and goes, look, right here. And this little piece of string she had in her hand, like this, eh? Little string here, a piece of cloth. And I'm like, can I see the whole leg? <laughs> That's your panties? <laughs> she goes, yes. I said, your ass must be hungry. <laughs> you ate your panties. Those aren't panties. I like the big ones, eh, you know. <laughs> Up to here, down to here. Like a pillowcase, you gotta get them off. <laughs> what the hell got thrown up here? Holy. That's my picture, look right there. Not me. <laughs> and honestly, white guys, they always, they always stand there. They got, they got no package. They look happy. They look happy, huh? Man, I've had just a mount that <laughs> I wouldn't look so happy. So she grabs him. I'm walking away. Oh, pardon me, pardon me. I said, um, uh, is, that a, is that a butterfly on your back? She goes, yes. It's my spirit bird. I said, your butterfly is looking at me. She goes, whatever. <laughs> I said, oh, one more thing. She goes, what? I'm playing here. I said, what, what, what? I said, you know, in about 40 years, that butterfly is going to be your asshole? Everything drops, eh? <laughs> oh, man. So how many guys in love here? How many in love? <laughs> A young guy kissing his hand. <laughs> that love's a powerful thing, eh? <laughs> and Indians are scared of it, eh? I love you. <laughs> I'm in my 40s now, so uh, I'm, I'm, I'm taking Viagra. I always joked about it, eh? Stiff neck, stiff tongue. But I, I actually took it. I just want to say, man, that shit works, man. I'm serious. That's powerful, man. I, I took it, man. That thing was like... Not just here. Looking at me. Big smile on his face. And <laughs> now I'm reading the instructions. It says if your erection lasts more than four hours, you should go to the hospital. Oh, lay. 
I should be in the hospital when I was 18, 19, eh? I was just a walking heart on him. <laughs> Trying to jig around. <laughs> Trying to power off. I'm serious, that's why I didn't, I quit dancing. <laughs> so yeah, I took that Viagra, holy shit, man. You should, you should have seen me. I got five gears. <laughs> Lots of gas. I don't care if it's you or me, I'm still not gonna stop. Huh? Three hours, 59 minutes, 45 seconds later, I was done. Yes, I was done, man. Oh, I'm just laying there, <sighs> pouring sweat. The bed was broken. Holes punched in the wall. The curtain was ripped down. My oh, Indians, the blanket ripped off the window. I'm laying there on the floor, half on a bed. And I got that sensitive twitch. <laughs> Trying to have a smoke. I don't even smoke. I was alone. <laughs> Broke my wrist. You guys act like you never even touch yourself. Come on. We're healthy. We're Indians. We're sexual. Yes. Am I right? Some more than others. <laughs> Who's that making all the noise there? Oh, I'll give me another bear. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, shh. Listen to him. <laughs> well, but you know, like, I, I studied laughter, eh? You know, I actually studied the actual whole dynamic of laughter. The ones that have the most powerful laugh that I've seen, uh, black people, the African Americans, the black ones, eh? When they laugh, like, ah! <laughs> They're like, settle down. It's only a knock-knock joke. <laughs> the ones that have the most uh, serious laugh, the ones that are hardest to make laugh, white people. White people laugh like this. That's not appropriate. It's like they look constipated, huh? huh? I'm really uncomfortable right now. I think the most beautiful laughter is native people. Hey, they have the best laughter, huh? Oh, yeah. Even the shy ones, eh? <laughs> Our elders. <laughs> I love the Indian, Indian, especially native women. Native women, they laugh like powerful, man. It's a powerful thing. And I've traveled across North America, and, and native woman laughter, it's always the same. No matter what tribe you're at, native women all laugh the same. There's five moves they make, huh? Five moves. First move that they make when a native woman sees something funny, their head goes back. If they got no neck, eh? <laughs> I'm, <se> <laughs> I'm 
serious. Move number two, they clap. <laughs> Am I right? Yeah. Move number three, they lean. <laughs> They lean. <laughs> Move number four, they either grab or hit the person beside them. <laughs> Move number five, they point. <laughs> That's a beautiful thing, man. <laughs> Native laughter is a beautiful thing. We'll laugh at anything, eh? Why people are standing there, somebody farts, oh my God, gross. Native, somebody farts, ah. Ever sick cousin. Oh, I love my native people. Right now, I was picking on, uh, on my sisters, my native sisters, eh, you know. I love you, you know, and I, I say you're jealous. You have every right to be. <laughs> but I'll tell you something about native men. Native men are very insecure. Am I right, ladies? Am I right? Eh? Oh, yeah. You know, Indian guys, all right, they put on a ball cap, eh? Ah, I'm the boss. I'm the man, I'm the boss of the house. Those aren't my kids, but I'm the boss. <laughs> I can't believe I said that story. White folks, <laughs> very inappropriate there. <laughs> yeah, and, and I'll tell you what, ladies, if you want to test my theory, say this to your, t say this to your man. Uh, say this to him when he's acting all cool and solid. Say this, say, honey, uh, it's Friday night, it's ladies' night, just me and the girls are going out. Watch your man, he'll turn into a little four-year-old boy, huh? Where are you going? <laughs> what time are you going to be home? <laughs> Who are you going with? <laughs> I don't like her. <laughs> Let me give you a hickey before you go. And you know they're real desperate and they say, uh, baby is not feeling good, maybe you shouldn't go. <laughs> and you come home and get the inspection. <laughs> What's this mark here? <laughs> These ones are Americans? Right here? Americans. These are uh, Redskin Spice Girls, right here. Spam Spice, Bologna Spice. The oldest one is Old Spice. Who's Old Spice? <laughs> Old Spice, eh? <laughs> uh, where are you guys from? Oh, wow. North Dakota. North Dakota. Right. 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 right on. Cousin. Right on. <laughs> so anyway, look, look, look. See, look. Cousin in law. Coconut. Somebody's going to get it tonight. She's going to wake up all hickeyed up. Come to Winnipeg drinking, you're going to get it. This is my next edge. <laughs> yeah. Right. This guy right here, look. He's wearing my toque, it looks like a Jewish homica. <laughs> OCN, blonde Indians. Yeah. Great <laughs> cousins and Pegwas, you guys finally got a name. Pegwas Radio.
102.7 FM, rocking the reservation. Well, you know, big us. I love going out there. I got lots of kids out there. <laughs> got some exes. They're mean. But uh, anyway, it's, it's good. I'm, great show. Full house. Yeah. Isn't this awesome? It is. It's great. Awesome. Man. End of the month. Must be welfare day or t- child tax credit or something. I'm not sure. <laughs> but those of you who didn't make it, man, this is a full house. It's going to be a good show. And I'm laying out some really new stuff tonight. Cutting edge stuff. I'm really going to push the envelope tonight. Eh? Yeah. So it's going to be good. So when you come to Peguas? Uh, when my last kid gets born. It'll be a couple more months. <laughs> yeah, I was there. I was there last Paul, eh? so. <laughs> <laughs> so Indians are drinking, so we're going to try to get out of here peacefully. <laughs> but full house, you guys. Come on, give yourselves that. It's a full house. Must be child tax credit day. <laughs> Family allowance. Eh? Uh, Willy check. Uh, what? The Morgan days. I. I know. I'll see you after. I'll do that to you later. <laughs> One time I was doing it to this white woman, eh? And I was just giving her the Elvis, eh? And she said this. She was making lots of noise. Ah! 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 I'm like, ever. Smart now. Ah! Oh my God. I'm gonna come. Holy! I'm Miss Nose Cree woman, eh? Holy! I'm gonna go off. <laughs> I wasn't too piggy for you, eh? Was I okay? <laughs> Can't remember, got some nice shots. Those brown, brown, greasy faces. <laughs> and I, and like I said, I just want to say uh, uh, thank you so much for being a part of this DVD. It's going to be a DVD, guys. Yeah. I love you. Thank you very much. My ex, Val. <laughs> Last time I was standing like this with somebody who uh, was in jail. <laughs> there you go, Chris.
Burnstick the best! Hi, John Burnstick. <laughs> Burnstick! 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 Woo! Yeah! Rosa loves Don! <laughs> best queen in a row, man. <laughs> Burnstick, oh wait, yeah! <laughs> How you doing, boy? Hey, we go going to the same gym. <laughs> I'm working on mine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hey. Smoke, so when's you going to tell, boy? <laughs> bye. Hey, bye. Good boy. Hey, John. <laughs> you like, well, for the, the bad office. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, this reminds me of me waking up in the morning. Somebody's gonna get somebody's gonna get it tonight. You wake up all hit it up. You come to Winnipeg Drake and you're gonna get it. You're from Duck Lake. What's your name? You're Christina? Oh my god, you're my ex. How are you doing, Doug, man? Oh, good to see you, man. Good Doug, to see you. in the pond of six hours. He hitchhiked two rides. You're gonna be in for a good one. I'm gonna give it to you. I'm gonna give it to her. You don't mind, eh? Matey. He's one of those guys that celebrate Aboriginal Day half a day. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Have a good Have show, show, Don. Is that how cool? <laughs> so anyway, this is an adult show. So I might say some things that might get people a little bit sensitive. People get offended. I don't give a shit. We've all gone big. You know those big, I'm talking about those big ones. You're laying beside them like this, eh? <laughs> and I dated a black woman. Oh, yes. I went black. I came back. And I went back again just to make sure. So I've always kind of lived like this, eh, in my shows. Don't swear, don't talk dirty, all that kind of stuff. Well, I'm not going to swear tonight. But I'm gonna get dirty. Master, who's your daddy? Seriously, like this? I don't know. Or <laughs> the big, thick northern bush. <laughs> You're not talking about it. <laughs> Those aren't my kids, but I'm the boss. I can't, I can't believe, believe I said that story. <laughs> White <Right>, folks, <laughs> very inappropriate there. <laughs> I'm really uncomfortable right now. <laughs> it's gonna be on APTN, just wait. Oh, we loved it. We loved it. We loved it. We loved it. Number one. Woo! To my ex, Val. 